Howdy, partner. So you want to learn how to build an outdoor kitchen for under $1,000? Well, you're in luck. We're going to show you today. Today, we're going to do an overview video of our outdoor kitchen series. Our outdoor kitchen series is four separate videos that walks through this entire build on how to build a really great budget outdoor space. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It should be in your lower right hand side. And also put in comments in there about, oh, I like this or I don't like that. Tell me ideas that I could do differently next time. I really appreciate that. And I really appreciate the likes, the comments and the subscribers. So the Outdoor Kitchen series that we put out there, that you'll get all the videos if you're subscribed to the channel, walks you through this build. And one of the things that I get on all the videos that we do, no matter what it is on the channel, which has a bunch of different stuff, is how much did that cost? How much did this cost? What is that? What is that? Everybody always wants to know the money. Well, this Outdoor Kitchen here, we talk about the concrete, tile, all that, this part was just at about $500, entire project. The pergola was probably another 500. So if you want to do the whole thing, you're at a thousand, otherwise you can do it for less. You can also use an existing barbecue grill or you can go ahead and buy a new one. It's really up to you. So kind of top to bottom, just to walk you through a brief overview in this video. And then the separate videos will actually walk you through each step is first you have to have a good foundation. Now we went ahead and poured this cement foundation here. This was just dirt to begin with and we broke ground and then we went ahead and made this. If you have an area that you can already use, you don't have to do this. We went ahead and poured this foundation here, about 20 bags of concrete, about 100 bucks. Went ahead and made a good spot to put it on. But again, if you have a nice covered area in your patio or something, you can use that. Or you can do brick pavers or anything else. Then we went ahead, after we had that, and we built this outdoor kitchen. Now we built it specifically for this space. And also, we built it for this grill. So if you see, this grill has a little notch at the bottom. So we actually kind of notched it out and customized it to fit this to where it is exactly level with the grill and the counters. And it fits in there. And for most angles, you can't tell it's not built in. So the base of this will last forever. It was built with what's called dry stack cinder blocks. And what that is, is it's basically cinder blocks. You can get different sizes. You design it however you want. You can put openings, run power, do a refrigerator, do a sink. The possibilities are endless. So you stack the center blocks, then you coat them with this surface bonding cement on both sides, and that creates a bond that's actually stronger than some mortar joints. So the video that we have, our part two, actually shows you how to do that process. Once you're done with that, you figure out how you want, what do you want to make it look like? And that's for part three in the series. Part three is finishing it with paint uh, and tile, or if you want to do it differently, you could do a granite slab, you can do dry stack stones on the outside, it's really whatever's gonna work for your space. If you kind of pan around here at our space, we have, a, a, you know, it's kind of a pool theme out here. So we went ahead and wanted to flow with that over here. So we just kind of made it this pool theme. So once we developed all this, then we went ahead and built this pergola. This pergola is from, it uses brackets from a company known as Toya Grid, T-O-J-A Grid, which is really a modular system that lets you customize it however you want. So we did that, we mounted it to our, to our wall of the house, and it is really, really sturdy. Then we finished it off with some solar lighting, as well as this lighting, and it looks great. At night, it looks like this. Ta-da! So we have the cafe lights, and then we also installed the separate solar-powered spotlight, which this is great. When you're cooking, you get to see everything as if it's daylight. So. Definitely like the way that this turned out and super simple. So we get a ton of use both at night and during the day. This system is definitely a way for you to achieve that outdoor kitchen feel that you want at your own home. You know, if you've priced out how much it costs to build a kitchen or even buy a prefab one, it is extremely, extremely pricey. So I'm more a do-it-yourself guy. Mr. Greg's how-to channel is all about doing it yourself. And I wanted something that fit our small footprint here, was very functional, allowed us to go ahead and prep the food, cook the food. We actually have a pizza oven on here. We make pizzas and we can just do everything while we're enjoying the great outdoors. So I hope you'll go ahead and you'll hit that subscribe button and you'll get all four videos in the series. And let me know, comment, if you do anything from this series, I would love to see a picture or see what you did or any questions you got. I'm right here to answer them for you. So thanks again for tuning in. 
And again, appreciate all likes and comments. Remember, if I can do this, you can too. Take care. What do you think, Kimba? You like the outdoor kitchen? Yeah? High five. Good girl.